Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Rabo. I'm a Microsoft Power Platform developer. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a free Microsoft 365 developer account, which is the Microsoft 365 developer E5 license. It renews itself every 90 days, depending on how frequently you use your accounts. And it gives you access to the apps in Office 365, gives you access to the apps in Microsoft Power Platform and also your SharePoint. So, and we are also going to be going further to create a Power Apps developer, community developer account, which helps you to create your developer environment if you are planning to create, if you are planning to use this for the apps in Microsoft Power Platform. So one of the things we need in order to create our Microsoft 365 developer account is actually our Microsoft Outlook. And if you can notice on my screen, this is my blog post on how to create a Microsoft 365 developer account. You can check this out on Medium. So don't forget to like this video and hit on the subscribe button. So we're just going to go ahead to create our developer account. So going to developer.microsoft.com. I'm just going to click on join now. So when I get to this stage, if I do not have a Microsoft Outlook account, I'm just going to click on create one. If you do not have any idea on how to create a Microsoft Outlook account, you can check out my video on how to create a free Microsoft Outlook account. So since I already have an account, I'm just going to sign into my account. Okay, so I'm going to sign into my Outlook account. And this is what it shows me. Just going to wait for it. So it's asking me my region. If you can see in this particular place that you have to take notice of, it's at this information you can see here. It has um, joined the Microsoft 365 developer program. We have your first name, Rachel Irabo, and also my email address. So if you do not see your name here, like if your name is not showing here, you can easily just click on this and edit your name. So we're just going to go further and answer these few questions we have here. So it's asking me to select my country or region. So I'm just going to go for Nigeria. Okay, going to go for Okay, let's try this Nigeria Then select my company So you can actually just form a name for this So for me, I'm using Richard Dev Tech Then your language preference English, you can choose There are so many options you can choose from So I'm just going to choose English then they have the option where you have to accept the terms and condition of the Microsoft 365 developer program. Know that certain data will be collected from use of the Microsoft 365 developer subscription to help us assess active development of application as required under this program. So I'm just going to click on this particular place. And this option is actually, is actually optional. So I'm just going to leave that and click on next. So in this particular place, it's asking you that what is your primary focus as a developer? Choose only one. So what, what are you planning to actually use this account for? Do you want applications to be sold in market, custom solutions for my own customer, applications for internal use at my company? So I'm just going to go for personal projects and click on next. Then the next question is, what areas of Microsoft 365 development are you interested in? We will show you resources, tools, and training to help you get started. So you can choose any options, any of this. But I'm, for me, I'm just going to click everything, which is a shape, SharePoint framework, Microsoft Graph, Microsoft Teams, Office Add-in, Outlook, 
Microsoft Identity Platform and also Power Platform. I'm just going to click on Save. Then you have the option to set up your Microsoft 365 E5 sandbox. So choose your Microsoft 365 E5 developer sandbox. So I'm going to go for configurable sandbox and click on next. So what is what username are you planning to use? So for me, I'm going to use Rachel Rabo and see if that's just going to try and see if this is available. Then also write a name for my domain. So in, if you can notice at this particular point, we have this domain name is taken. So we're going to see what we can use, what else you can use that is available. Okay, let's see if that is available. Also taking, okay. Let's see if that works. I think I see that. Okay, so you can see there's no longer anything showing here that the domain is taken. So this is actually taken, which is rachelable at rachelldeveloper dot on Microsoft dot com. So I have to create a password for this. So. I'm just going to show you something here. So your password must be between 15 to 20 characters and must include uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and one or more of these symbols, which is your special characters. So I'm just going to change this and see how it goes. And see if this works for us. Okay, it's perfect. So I'm going to confirm my password okay saying my password does not match let's just try this again okay Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do right now is to add my phone number for security. So please enter a valid cell phone number that supports SMS who text you a code that you can use to verify your identity. So my country code is Nigeria. So I'm just going to add my phone number to this. So I'm going to get that. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to confirm if that is correct. Okay, then click on send code. So I'm just going to wait for this to call. Okay, I'm just going to check my phone for my code. So I've gotten the code, I'm just going to enter the code, 69508, then click on setup. So right now it's setting up my developer subscription, so I'm just going to wait a few minutes for this to set up. So if you can see, this is my developer account where I have my domain name richarddeveloper.microsoft.com. So everything here, if I want to log into my account, I have to use richarabo at richarddeveloper.microsoft.com. So in order to go further to create my Power Apps community plan, I'm just going to go to my blog posts and get that particular link. 
so I'm going to get that particular link okay so when you get to this particular place which is your power apps dot microsoft.com I'm just going to click on existing user add a dev environment so I'm going to log in that account which is this I'm going to log in to this my account which is administrator click on next then my password click on sign in okay so right now we are trying to create our power apps developer plan so i'm just going to choose my country which is nigeria then this is actually optional send me the latest power apps tips and information this is optional I'm just going to go ahead and click on accept Okay, so we're going to wait a bit while it configures our license. Okay, so we are going to confirm if that developer environment was created. So I'm just going to remove this. Skip. So if you can notice, when you click on environment, we have our default environment, which was created with our Microsoft 365 developer, E5 developer license. And we also have our developer environment that was created with our power apps community plan so thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in my next video thank you